Hong Kong's chief executive delivered his third annual policy address. Leong Chun Ying is looking ahead as he passes the halfway point in his five-year term. He said the government will focus more on the future of the young people, a main force behind last year's Occupy protests. Li Jiejun has more. Chief Executive Lam Chun placed constitutional reform at the top of his annual policy address. In his speech titled Uphold the Rule of Law, Seize the Opportunities, Make the Right Choices, Lam said the political development must adhere strictly to the basic law and the decision of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress. Under this precondition, Hong Kong residents can make choices for their future. Democratic development and economic progress in Hong Kong present a host of opportunities, but there are choices we have to make. On constitutional development, we have to choose between implementing universal suffrage and a standstill, on the economy, between progress and stagnation, and on people's livelihood, between reforms and clinging to the status quo. After over two months of mass demonstration that saw protesters occupy key parts of the city, several economic sectors and people's lives have felt the impact. Long's address included measures to recover the economy, boost the city's competitiveness, and most of all, improve people's livelihood. The poor prospect for upward mobility was one of the main motivating factors for the young people to join the Occupy protests. So how to help them with their career development will also be the focus of the government work. A 300 million Hong Kong dollars youth development fund will be set up to support young people to start up business. Many young people in Hong Kong are dissatisfied with the current high property prices, the social inequality, and the widening wealth gap. They want the government to hear their voices. And Long said his government will do more for them. Li Jiejun, CCTV, Hong Kong.